Today we're going to be doing some pioneers. I'm just going to make these smaller and put down here in the corner. I have pre-made some shapes. So let's start with the um, body. We're going to be working on this guy right here. So I just made some uh, trapezoid for the shirt and I'm going to copy and paste the trapezoid, make this just a little bit wider for the pants. Now I'll bring them together just a little bit, but if you don't like this line through it, you can take a square piece cover it, color it the same color that you're going to do your pants, which those are the two colors I'm going to be doing. So I'll change that right now. But make sure that you do not have an outline. Select both and group it together and then center the back. Let's give him some arms, hands, send to the back, and if you feel like they need to be a little smaller, go ahead and make them smaller. Let's make some shoes. I just use the same. You can make boots if you would like. Give them a pointed edge by going to the edit and the edit points and working that out. Send to the back. Let's give him some hair. I'm going to give him just very uh, neat cut hair by using the rounded corner And I'm just going to make it uh, dark brown. Send it to the back. And you can make it as long as you want or as short as you want. Pioneer has just a little bit right there. If you want, you can give it a mustache by using those two colors. The hat, insert. Go down to the flow chart and find that, I call it the tombstone shape. And I'm going to make his hat just a different color than the one down here. Insert a circle and then make it long. You can make that a little shorter or I like it tall. color the same color to get a moon shape the moon shape is next to the cloud shape and then fit the sash on there I'm going to leave it like that, but how I made that little lip is I made, went like that, and then made it a little lighter color than that, which I had to go up and choose one of those. But I'm not going to on this hat right here because of time. Group together, bring over to the top of the head size it to fit his head. Now his hair is sticking up over it so I will bring his hair down a tiny bit and then hide his hair. There's the male. Now with the shorter hat over here I just made this piece a little bit shorter. Okay, for the girl, 
Um, let's bring in two hands. Let's bring in a trapezoid. For the skirt and I made it this funky green color and if you want you can design the dress and all I did was just bring in some shapes and I made no outline we're just going to make it a sort of a calico and I brought three together like a cherry Peru made them smaller and then just fit them on the dress. Copy and paste. Move them around. If you want, you can select both of those. Select all of them, except for the hands. Group them together. Then you can copy and paste arms, sleeves, make them shorter. And notice how the design sort of switched on me. That's okay. I'm just making this very quickly. Send them to the back. We can bring the hands down if you want. You can make an apron by using the same shape and putting it over this and adjusting the width to make it fit. Okay, we need some feet. Make it dark color. And then just bring them down. And you can make the dress longer or shorter. We're just going to keep it at that length for right now. Okay, let's get a head. A face. And for the hat, I just had a the balloon. You can choose a circle. I'm going to choose the balloon because I don't want it totally round. But I also need to cut off the little bottom part of it. So I will take that piece, select the balloon first, then select the rectangle, go to Merge Shapes, and Subtract. And make it the color that you want. And then the next shape was the moon shape. I use the moon shape a lot. This time it's going to be upside down for the brim of the hat. Okay. And then just like to get it. where it kind of meets together. Let's give this gal some hair. I'm going to make it simple and use the cloud. I'll just give it yellow. Copy, paste. I'm just going to turn it around. You can mess around with shapes and um, put in any kind of hair that color that you want. Now what we can do, because of that piece that I took out, you can bring some bangs in. And then bring that forward. Okay, that one wasn't big enough. Okay. getting really big. 
Okay. To get the idea, somehow I want it to be the same size. So that one's not working for me. I'm going to insert a circle. And then I can manipulate it a little better. And I'm going to take and subtract some off of it. So the green first, then the black. Subtract. And then I can make it as tall as I want it. And send it to the back. It's not working out like the way I want it to, but go ahead and mess around with that. There, that was better. And then I had a little tie. So insert um, the moon shape. I'm going to make it over here. Make that green. Make another one. This is the tie around the neck. Insert um, the rounded rectangle shape. For the bow part, and then you can insert a anything that has a little point on it. Copy paste, rotate horizontal, send to the back. There, I have my little um, tie that goes around the neck. All right, so we need to bring the face and the bonnet forward. See if I got all the pieces. Okay, I didn't get this piece. I didn't quite get that. Oh, Cartana. Would you on. mind rephrasing? <laughs> she comes on once in a while. I don't, know. I don't ask her to. Okay, there's our girl. Let's make the dress a little longer. Yeah, I still haven't brought the forehead forward. Bring forward. There we go, and you can adjust that the way you want it. And there you have your pioneer girl. And like I said, you can mess around with the circle part if you would like by using the blue shape. 